Hey, leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. So they left something for me. What can I get you? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Okay. Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip. So she could hey, understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes. But it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Basic mistake. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. That was bad luck. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And... I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yu Zhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Okay, so this apartment was her apartment. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit! Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tong's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, taxman. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tongue doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the arg. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. 
they say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. Look, lady, I have the means to help you. But if you want me to bargain for your life, I'm gonna need you to give me what I ask. Now you can willingly give it to me, or I can take it. Your choice. I've been bullied by Tongue's thugs long enough, Gui Lao. You ain't got nothing on them. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Left, left her that cheap. <laughs> There's a guard, unconscious guard, in her bed. What can I get you? Hey, about that job. You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. What's it gonna take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants, and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. I want to know what it's going to take for you to leave her alone, for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? Tell you what, Guaylo. You give me a year's worth of payments, and she's free. You're too kind a man. A fine specimen of humanity. <laughs> Here's your money. Now you better leave her alone. Don't make threats you can't enforce. But yes, she's off the hook. Here, take this praxis kit. It's top notch, so have fun. Okay, I got praxis kit. So this wasn't total waste of time. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Malik. Jensen, if you even think of using that casing <laughs> on me, I will hit you. I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream I'm just of it. Concerned, that's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. Well, this Deus Ex, so there's lots of cover-ups. If I cover get my ups. hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. 
born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. Yeah, that would be like why police doesn't. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. Friend he left a friend. copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy <laughs> movie. I know. Uh, yeah. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. <laughs> okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, Lim details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Okay. Can't you see I'm busy? And a normal Don't bother someone else. <laughs> Poor Jen. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Okay. That's actually exa example of of the uh, voice actor actually actually knowing it doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have knowing how the how the how the how the, how the uh, level is is laid out uh, in Detroit. It felt like they had recorded the lines and then just throw them somewhere. Would yeah, you boy. stop drawing attention to yourself and get over here? I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, you're not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? 
Don't think I don't know. This could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You, you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything to get you that file. Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. You... You... You scoundrel! You'll regret this someday. You just... You just mock my words. See you later, X. <laughs> yeah. So up here and right. Okay, I hadn't been here before. Nice terrace. Oh, 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 yes. oh, 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 all right. I actually came here first time. And once again, we break in. Access grant. Can't hack into that. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Ma Master Billy. <laughs> Access grant. Ah, uh, you father wanted me to forward this to you. It's time for the report concerning your family's recent invest in Limp. Well, that's that's a motive. Built over associates. Exo, exo. Do not disgrace us. No more financial support or immunity. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Okay, what else? What else there could be? This 
This apartment is so tidy. Expensive TV. Anything behind paintings? No. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Huh. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. How come I didn't Malik, check this? I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Oh, hey, he's here. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev. Man, it's off. I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why's that? Now I should remember how it was, like, was it inaccurate or falsified and... Okay... Conclusive... So they didn't know how Because it, the police report how revealed she inconclusive died. blood spatter analysis. Meaning the wound that killed Evelyn happened before she ever fell down those stairs. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so this prominently pretty, pretty displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law, no matter how serious. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! 
She was going to ruin me. I I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn uh, wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her. I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. Uh, okay. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. What? What is he planning right now? Yeah, well, that was that was pretty dark side side mission. Not all all uh, Deus Ex missions are dark, but that that was dark. Hack the world. All right, Malik, it's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. Blue screen. I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. I, I didn't mean to kill her. Okay. Malik, remind me never to fish you. <laughs> After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, Mister. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, wow. just the heck, worst decision I ever made taking that gig, as you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me, especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. 
Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hacker dead! You okay. gotta help me, Jensen. They're gonna kill me. And that concerns me how? <laughs> Pretty cold, but yeah. Oh, come on, man. I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this. Not going to give my own own weapon. But now we need to get out of here. Okay, so he's really, really brave. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. You're referring to the Panchea project, the cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify <laughs> ocean temperature. a combination of iron steel. He has big gun. I always miss. <laughs> That's like Gatling gun. Or a vacuum keep cleaner. Probably. Saved around here. Hello, I heard you. Actually, it now would be the time to actually improve my skills a bit. So, reflex booster. Two points. It's more like you can be really cool. Two cool, cool stuff actually with this uh, augmentation. Someone's running.
So basically, if I had uh, have had that option, I could actually go and hack the hack the turret and deal with it with by myself. I wonder where I'm going. Okay, that looks really, <laughs> really nice. And this would be a really good EMP shielding. Okay, I need two practice kits for this. Can we actually... Be creative. Okay, so that's... Like, jump on top of these pipes here. Come on! Well, okay, yeah, that's realistic. Yeah, that 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 could happen. So I need to switch the side here. IQ 1000 or something. I don't know what shotgun cartridges are actually doing in a shower, but... Like I said, this is just to, to do cool stuff. Not really anything else. Say safe weapon to use. Heavy armor is not the best for hand-to-hand -hand combat, so quite understandable. Malik. Get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. Anyhow. Th thanks for watching. Uh, if you are watching this on the YouTube side, uh, remember like and subscribe because to, uh, those are actually a base, best ways uh, to algorithm to think, think, uh, to promote my, my, my videos. If people won't watch or like, then it's like algorithm won't, won't promote it to other people. So that's, that's why we have like few, there's the, or limited number of uh, YouTube celebrities because their uh, videos are getting uh, promoted. Anyway, there's going to be like YouTube play series and uh, YouTube um, um, Yakuza Kiwami 1 is now uh, progressing. Also, our team is playing uh, Sport Dead Squad 4, that's on the preview picture right now, uh, this way. Uh, so, those are published as, as well. They are available. Also, smaller versions of these streams. Um, I'm actually making uh, super cuts of them. And 
uh, posting them to the video uh, when, when they are available. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you liked, and let's continue next week. There's a game coming out called Redfall, and I heard it's on the Xbox Game Pass. So I was thinking it's more like if I play it, you don't need to play it. If it's more, you can check from the stream. Decide if you want to get it for yourself. That's that's the plan at least. Uh, so far, the DevSec is pro progressing pretty smoothly. This is not the terribly popular long game, so that's that's why it's going to show. And I I think I already learned the kinks once 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 again. So thanks for watching and uh, have have a nice nice time. Uh, okay.